Studies have shown that position during sex and afterwards doesn't necessarily increase your chances of conception. But you asked a good question. A lot of people do think that if you lay flat on your back after having intercourse that it will increase your chances of getting pregnant. Now, it can't hurt anything. So even if the studies show that it doesn't necessarily help, it can't hurt. So if you want to lay there for an additional 5 to 15 minutes afterwards, again, it, it, it won't cause any harm. So why not try if you're trying to increase your chances? But the best thing you can do to increase your chances of having a baby are to pay attention to your cycles. Track them. And most women have a cycle that lasts about 25 to 35 days, and as long as they're pretty regular, chances are you're ovulating or releasing an egg that can then be fertilized by sperm. And most women are fertile on about six days out of the month. And so there's this window of opportunity. And this window of opportunity is five days leading up to ovulation and on the day of. Now, for most women, ovulation happens about 12 to 16 days before her next period is going to start. And on average, for a lot of women, it's about 14 days. So two weeks before your next period is going to start is usually about the time that you'll ovulate. So let's say your cycles are normally 28 days long. You'd probably be ovulating around day 14. Or if they were 30 days long, you'd probably be ovulating around day 16. If you're not exactly sure when you're ovulating, because it's not a perfect science, not everyone ovulates according to the textbooks, um, you can do a couple of things. You can watch for cervical mucus changes and during that window of opportunity when you're most fertile, cervical mucus becomes a little more slippery, maybe a little bit clear and a little bit thinner. And then as soon as you ovulate it, it goes back to normal. You can also get over-the-counter ovulation kits and they're looking for an LH surge or a luteinizing hormone surge, which is associated with ovulation. So these, if you, it's kind of like taking a pregnancy test and when they come back positive, that means that you're in that fertile time. And it usually gives you a window about 12 to 48 hours before you're going to ovulate and the fertile, the fertile period is done. There's also one other that's not very expensive. You just need a, th a thermometer and you take your temperature every morning before you get out of bed even to get up and go to the bathroom, this is called your basal body temperature. And um, your body actually has a slight increase around the time of ovulation. This happens after though. So it's helpful in retrospect because after you've been tracking your temperature for a few months and noticing a spike, which happens about you know, 24 hours after ovulation, then you can get to know your body better and, and kind of pinpoint more closely when your body's ovulating. So these are all the best ways to increase your chances of conception. If you don't want to do all this tracking, you're, you know, you're not wanting to think that much about it right now, and you do have regular cycles, just have intercourse every one to two days after your period ends, and do this for a week or two, and this should make it so you time it just right and increase your chances of getting pregnant. If you have any other questions for me, feel free to ask them on our Facebook page at facebook.com forward slash intermountainmoms and recommend us to your friends and family too.